Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and I'm a Cyber Room Certified Professional and a Cyber Room Certified Trainer. And in this series of videos, I'll be covering A to Z of data security threats which are released worldwide and will also try to explain you how each of this threat is directly or indirectly affecting you. And in this series of videos, we'll also try to help you to protect yourself from this kind of threats. So in today's video, we are covering A of cybersecurity and here we are talking about the first content which is adware. So adware are nothing but the ads which are popping up in your computer or mobile screens. Adware is a software which displays some sort of ads in your system. Generally, it comes through a pop-up in your computer when you use an application or a website. It is coming through common sources such as marketing websites or websites where you get the free softwares or applications. Now all of the adwares are not bad, but when the adware becomes a problem is when they are trying to install certain computer softwares into your system without your consent or even sometimes it runs certain applications in the background without the permission of the users. So this can lead into occupancy of the resources. This can lead into data uh, from your computer going into the some servers of the adware and can ultimately lead into spying of a computer through remote uh, computers. So what can you do is you can install a very good uh, ad blocking software or you can run an antivirus software in your computer which is a good one licensed one. Or the third one is you can block the pop-ups or unwanted installations into the browser by changing the setting. Next up we are talking about is auto run worm. So this worm takes the advantage of the feature which is auto run which comes into windows operating system. And most of the time this programs are transferred through USB drives. So whenever you are sharing the data from one computer to another. So if your computer is infected, it will share the infected files into the USB drive and when you share that data into somebody else's computer, those computers will also get infected. So what does the WOM does? WOM is actually a program which runs in the background. Sometimes it can occupy the resources, it can keep on creating new patch or maybe you know newer operating system files or it can start affecting your existing files also. So again, the solution is to have a good operating system uh, antivirus which can protect you and also avoid taking data from unknown people and without scanning the drives. So this is how you can ensure the protection. Also make sure your USB drives are not on auto run setting. So when you plug in, it doesn't auto run the files inside the USB. Next up we are talking about is the proxy. Anonymizing proxies are used in order to do a lot of things. One is to be untraceable over the internet or hide the identity or even those who are working in the organization or in the colleges or some places where you are not allowed to access certain type of resources then you can use proxies to bypass the security filters. And that is when you lead yourself as well as your organization into a situation of security breach because bypassing that security system which you have or the security filters can actually lead into threats coming into your system or hackers able to access the data which you don't even realize. So anonymizing proxies are VPNs or the you know the servers which you use in order to hide your identity or protect the search history but then they can actually lead into a lot of security breaches. So what is the suggestion? Follow the security filters set up by the organization or at least make sure wherever you are using the VPN or the proxies, you do know that they are authenticated ones. So in this way, you can protect your system from getting breach and also compromising the security of the overall organization. So this is what I have in terms of A of the computer and security threats. In the further videos, we'll be bringing rest of the security threats available in the market. If you like our effort, please like, share and subscribe our channel. And also, if you have any queries, please feel free to comment in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a great day.